welcome back to MIDI Explores and today by popular demand we're on to part three of the Great Central Walk in Rugby. Yes I know I said I wasn't coming back but I got told there was loads of really nice bridges on this last bit so we're going to start near Ashlawn Road and walk back up to the station and just catch everything in between Then later on we're going to go further south and I'm doing team up with some friends and do some more videos. So let's see what we can find today. And join me as we go a little more along the Great Central Walk. Right, this is the Ashlawn Road Bridge. And I know now why people told me. So all the people that told me to come here, thank you very much. Because this thing is immense. And gorgeous. I'm allowed to say that, I've decided. Look at this, this thing is absolutely immense. I have, oh, we'll get down on the trap bed and we can have a proper look at it. But my word, this thing is huge. Let's get down on the trap bed and have a proper look because this is stunning. Absolutely beautiful day. And look at this the Ashlawn Road Bridge. Now, first of all, it's unusual for me to know the name of a road, but that is immense. I can't, I can't even, the cutting here is, it must be a hundred foot deep, easily. And this bridge is massive. That, oh, well, that is just, there's hardly any graffiti, which is lovely. Three arches, and look at that. Sorry for the shaky work there. That must be. A hundred foot high, perhaps not, perhaps I'm exaggerating a bit. But... Look at that, that is workmanship. So we've got a slightly skew on it, slight angle. But my God, nice bit of track. This was, apparently this was done by the Rotary Club. They put these here a few years back when they keep the walk. So obviously not in its original position, but that is the first bridge of the day. And thank you again to the people who told me to come back because that is an absolute belter. So I'm gonna come back this way anyway, so I can walk back and have a, a better look at these top two arches. Incredible. Hi Sam. Hi Daisy. So this is just north of the Ashlawn. So what we're doing today is we're going from Ashlawn Bridge, which is here, and we're going to follow the walk back to the station. But this time, so this is south, going towards um, Onlu Lane, I think is the next uh, bridge there. There isn't a bridge, there's nothing. I don't know if that was built afterwards. And then, so we're going to go. Uh, the, um, the little camera thing is playing up today, so it's having a bad day. So we're going to follow this north. So we're going towards Leicester now. And we're going to follow this to uh, back to the station, Rugby Central. And then I promise you, I've definitely finished on this little bit. And then we're going back lesser bound. Perhaps. Well, I actually got one little surprise for you, but I'll drop that as my midweek, a midweek midi video, which I think you'll all love. So look out for that, because that'll be coming very soon. Let's just keep walking. 
lovely day for it. So that's it, just continuing this walk along the trap bed. It's actually lovely, there's not as many features this end, except for that squirrel. Wildlife. Wildlife on MIDI Explores. I've got a bridge coming up now, which I don't know the name of the road or the path, I don't know. I will find out. But it looks very similar to the other ones we've seen. Very, very nice. So let's have a look at that. So there we go. This is actually a five arch bridge. Somebody at some point just put punks and anarchy up there. Oh, well, that's an old one. Look at that. The remains of an old sign up there. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this bridge was for. There was another railway ran through this area, and I'm because I think it's a footpath above, which I'm going to have a look at in a moment. But what a gorgeous old thing. can see the, uh, the drain pipe going out the side which would at one time be a really fancy feature but look at this lovely old thing and that's a five arch bridge which the rest have been threes so looking back down the way there so let's go walk up the top and see what we can find Oh wow, look at this brickwork, lovely brickwork. The wet, the wet and the rain's really getting to that though. That is horrid and this lovely, half this arch is buried. My word. And then at the top, I'm not sure, like I say, I'll find out and put it on the screen what used to be here. But, Oh, it's a, it's a lane of some description. So there's a houses there. And then over the bridge. So whether there's a lane that's been cut off, I don't know. Stop either a rat run or whatever. Looks like they keep on top of the uh, graffiti. Lovely brickwork again. And there's the truck bed down there. Well, now that is really nice. In great condition considering. I'll just walk back down onto the truck bed without breaking my neck. Quite a well worn path, this to be fair, but there we go, look under there. Often we get up this close to one of these arches at the top. Look at that workmanship. I mean, that has lasted so long and it's still in great condition. I'll say the dump's got to this bit a bit. But if we look down here, ignoring, I won't even talk about graffiti. Look at that brickwork, fantastic. All right, let's carry on with the journey. Hi, Sam. Hi. All right, so, I think we're beginning to see, well, first of all, that's not original track, obviously. But this is the beginning of the platforms. So again, we're going from the south, going north, and we can actually see the end of the platform here. So there's the end of the platform going up. That is just incredible. So the track would have split here, obviously, and then you had that island platform in the middle. 
Now this side here is for, uh, this side here is for freight. They had freight and they had sidings going this way. Going out to all sorts of buildings over here, which is now houses. And there's the, uh, the original platforms which the path goes along. This would be the southbound side. I can't believe this is still here. It's just so cool. Really nice. See the platforms. The football down there. Anybody want that football? Daisy, you want a football? <laughs> Is there another squirrel? Oh, lovely. You see the edge here? Oh, my word, look at that. Obviously, we did this bit last week, so we've just come at it from a different angle. And there we go. All the way down. The station's there, we're not going to go back to the station again today. But get the whole row of the platform here. And of course, off to this side with sidings and all sorts, which is now housing estate. But there we go. Right, so that concludes part three. And uh, this is my last walk on here, honestly. Thank you to all the people that commented on the last videos. And uh, Please like and subscribe as usual, but no, thank you for everyone that has because it's really growing the channel now nicely and we're, we're certainly getting out there a lot more. We're going to have more and more videos on Great Central and the Midland Line coming up as well. So uh, for another day, um, thanks for viewing and um, I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye. Right, so we started filming in fantastic sunshine and we're miles away from the car now, aren't we, Sam? Yep. Miles away miles from, the car, away from the car and it's snowing. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It has started to snow. Fantastic. Another great adventure with MIDI Explores.